move on to the weekly oracle card guidance. And so this week I want to use the um, Magical Mermaids and Dolphins uh, deck. I was, before I even walked to the shelf where I have all the oracle card guidance um, cards, uh, I was told that this is the one I need to use. So there it is. So please go ahead and choose between option one, two, and three. And I'm just going to do it like this. And um, yes, I'm not going to use the usual format for today. All right, so for those of you who've chosen the option number one, All right, I have the card, you have, you're being helped. You're being helped, yeah. And it says, heaven is working behind the scenes to help you, even if you don't see the results yet. All right, so I think that basically talks very much about everything that I've said until now um, in the energy forecast. So it's been very much about things are moving along, heaven is helping, um, however you define heaven, <laughs> it is helping and it is going to be, there is going to be some things that are shifting, some things that are moving along. You don't need to feel like you're abandoned. You don't need to feel like you're alone and that it's something that you are, you can't um, let go of or you can't grasp. If you've been having feelings of, uh, if you've been gasping or if you've been having shortness of breath or some kind of difficulty if you've been waking up in the middle of the night and, and having difficulty breathing and um here here's the card that says well, listen just calm down you are being helped you're not alone you've not been forsaken you are going to be okay we are, you are going to get out of the situation whatever situation you find yourself in if you find yourself in the deep end you are going to find a way out of it and it's going to be to your benefit ultimately and it's going to be fair all right so i think that is one of the meanings of this card i just need to look at it again yes i think you know yes you might not see the results you might not see and understand how it's helping you or how it is that you are moving ahead but certainly you are i think also you might feel like you are a bit uh, lost you are, you don't perhaps have the faculty to be able to manage and take care of what it is that you need to you might feel like a toddler in um in respect to what you're doing and not feel that you have the control that you need or the the knowledge that you need but i think that ultimately you will be fine you will be kept afloat and things are going to be okay and if you could just take a minute and look around your space and look at all that you have that is still positive that is still um working in your favor and just give thanks for that that's going to be um helping uh, a long way as well I think, you know, if you are able to connect with nature here, definitely do that, especially with water, with water energy. It can be very healing at the moment. It can wash away a lot and it can be also quite uh, rough and um, um, just quite aggressive. But it's, you know, don't put yourself in any danger, of course. But if you expose yourself to it, perhaps by watching it or by dipping your feet, perhaps, you're going to feel some of that um, very robust energy that's going to help you to, um, to, to heal and to work with whatever it is that you're working with. I think if you live very far away from the sea or a river or anything like that and you, you, don't, uh, you don't have any wish to go to the local um, uh, water supply, um, what I would say to you is just use some water at home you know, just put some salt in some water and soak your feet in it or soak your hands in it and sprinkle it on you as well and see if you can feel some of that difference. That's just, that might not apply to every one of you, especially with the salt. Um, but um, even if you just like use a stone like a rose quartz or a clear quartz and you place it in the water 
and you use that energy and just bring good it on you. One of the things that I used to do many years ago is I'd always uh, fill a pot of water under the full moon and then I use that water through the month to actually um, work and heal people and it really was amazing. It was very effective. I stopped doing that uh, but uh, it's something that try it out and see whether it works for you. All right, just let the moon charge your, um, preferably the full moon, let, let, while, or while it's waxing, not waning. Uh, to charge your, your water for you and work with that and see whether it makes a difference. All right, I'm going to leave you there. I hope that helps you. And uh, moving along to the next option. So for those of you who have chosen the second option here, Oh, it feels like this one. <laughs> it's interesting. The cards come up again. You're being helped. So I just spoke about this in the first option. And you can go ahead and listen to that again. I'm just going to see if there's anything else in here. Okay, the one thing I want to add to you, please go back and listen to the first option. But the one thing I want to add here for you is that there is light, there is wisdom, there is knowledge that you will find in places that you would not exist or you would not expect to find or would not normally exist. And I think that um, that is something to look forward to and to, to enjoy as you go along and as you are exposed to that. Okay. There is a little boy here that um, there that's watching this girl. I think that uh, I think that perhaps you would find that people will be inspired by you being able to immerse yourself um, in tranquility and serenity uh, in times where it's not clear that that is the case. I think also that you know being able to bond with nature and and come in with one in one with nature is actually going to be quite um, helpful for every single one of us right now. I'm going to go ahead and choose another card for option number two and see what comes out. And it gives me soulmate relationship. This is the card that sprung out. Soulmate relationship. Okay, new romance with a spiritual basis is here for you now. All right, so there you are. That's pretty self-explanatory. I think that if I had to read into it, I think that what you'll find more and more right now is that you there are more than one soulmate in your life. You'll find that you're able to connect with people who have similar ideas, similar feelings, similar uh, viewpoints as you. And it almost feels like when you meet these people that you've met one of your kin, one of your soul tribe, and one that belongs to you. And I want to say that this is not necessarily going to mean that you're going to meet somebody who is your life partner. Not to, It's not going to mean that for every single one of you. But I think that here um, it could be the case for some of you. Please let me know. If you do meet your soulmate or you come into a soulmate relationship after you've watched this reading and um, yeah do let me know if that's the case. I'm gonna just look at the card and see what else comes up here. I think it's this card for me it speaks a lot more much more than for a relationship it speaks of us moving in sync with each other if everyone is moving in sync with everyone at one moment if we're marching to the same tune if we believe and understand something the same thing and if we um, are vibrating at the same frequency as each other then we are each other's soulmates we are each other's mates and in our souls you know we are 
our souls are speaking to each other and that's what the state that we need to be in and unfortunately the world that we live in right now doesn't allow that you know it divorces us from our souls it makes us uh, just our bodies and it puts us to use in our bodies and our minds and divorces us from our souls and I think the moment that you are welcoming your soul and welcoming what your soul wisdom is in into your life then you're going to find that you are vibrating at the same level as many others are vibrating at and you're going to find that you have more than one soulmate and more than one um, kind of home in the world you have more than one feeling of where you belong and how you belong in this world I think that this kind of uh, feeling if you are having it and if you have met somebody I think this kind of feeling can be quite encompassing and um, it can take up quite a lot of your life quite a lot of your feelings and it might be that you everything else becomes um, unimportant to you at this moment and this is the only thing that you are uh, focusing on okay so if you are going to meet somebody, if you have met somebody, expect to be uh, swept off your feet and to have yourself focused and interested in only one thing <laughs> for a while because everything else fades in comparison. All right, I'm going to leave it there. I hope that that has been a helpful message and I'm going to move on to the option number um, three. Just once again, go ahead and listen to the first option because that card came out for you as well. All right, thank you very much. Okay, for those of you who have chosen option number three, what is your weekly oracle card guidance? Time to move on. Wow. Now, this is a card that I think, a card that had a similar meaning, came out in one of the previous uh, week, uh, weekly oracle card guidances. And it says, it's time to let go of the old and worn out so that the new can come in. Oh my goodness, isn't it all about that right now? This energy is so pervasive in that manner. And the new moon that we had on the 1st of February is very much about that. It's very much about making space for new something new to come into your life. So if you've been hanging on to all things because of the memories, because you're afraid that when you release those things or you get rid of those things that you will lose that aspect of your life or your memory don't be afraid just let go of things get rid of things clear things out move along and clear things away because what you're going to find is that you're going to be able to find something much more wonderful much more vibrant much more suited to who you are if you are able to clear out some of that energy i'm talking about uh, decluttering I'm talking about not just decluttering things but decluttering energy from your life if you're still thinking about your exes if you're still thinking about some hurt that your parents caused you when you were a kid that is cluttering up your life and you are not leaving space or having space for some a new experience to be brought into your life what you're simply doing is living from your traumas and allowing your traumas to dictate the rest of your life now i've been finding that a lot with clients recently and um and personally it's one of the reasons that i've i'm trying to veer away from working and doing psychic readings but rather just uh working with healing which i find far more fulfilling and satisfying pardon the noise um because i found that people are committed to living from their traumas so if something happened to them you know when they were born or when they were a child they're going to constantly live with that and in their radar you know that is something that it's their reference point and as a result that is something that that continues to define their reality as they go ahead and this is something that I think this card is talking about it's talking about leave all of that behind leave behind the hurt the trauma the pain also the good memories of the past because that's where they belong in the past live in the moment 
and invite and create new opportunity for yourself in this moment because that's all you have. You only have this moment here, okay, that you are in. As this moment passes, this it's gone. It's gone forever. You can't get it back. You can try to relive it. You can try to um, continue to access it, but that's just an illusion and it's not really helping you to really move on. It's not really helping you to... Um, to live the best life that you can be, or to be able to allow goodness or blessings to come into your life, all right? Let me see what else it says here. I just feel that if you were to um, just clear things up and leave an empty slate, whether it's emotionally, mentally, spiritually, physically, materially, then what's going to happen is that you're going to find that you are able to uh, vibrate at your essence, you're able to work from a space which is you that is um, in sync with the universe and with yourself. It's going to be something far more powerful. And if every one of us as human beings were to be in sync with ourselves and we're to be doing something that's actually um, making our soul sing, this world would be devoid of suffering. This world would be devoid of any need because we will be completely fulfilled and I think that that is a, a space that we this card is talking to you about moving towards it's time to move on it's time to be able to create that space so that new opportunities can enter your life and just go ahead and make it happen for yourself all right so I'm going to leave it there um, I know that today's Oracle card guidance is a little bit shorter. It's largely because of the format in which I'm doing it. But I want to do it like this because that way it just saves me lots and lots of time. And also because um, I couldn't quite get the, right, the lighting right in the other room where I usually shoot my readings. And so I just thought I would sit here. The lighting is not optimal, but it's better than what I had. And I hope that you have enjoyed the reading and that you were able to get something out of these messages. I wish you amazing, beautiful blessings as you go along. And may you stay healthy and well and abundant. And may all the blessings of the world come your way. All right. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising. <laughs>